a fetching. Kieran's going to explain that one. Well, Mr. Ashman Parak. I don't want to say skirt because Parak really is a bad boy, but it's, it is a skirt. Oh, because it's, what is it? A flag. It's a flag. Flags around the shorts. A pair of shorts. I'm not saying but, um, anything because if he hears me, he'll hit you. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh, he has fought a few times in that. He has fought a few times and it. it doesn't seem to uh, bother him too much. He's used to fighting big guys though, and giving away weight, like he did, you know, at previous arena shows. And he's such a tough customer, Barrett. Keita very sharp with the low kicks. Look at the size difference between these two, Vinny. But then yeah. again, he has fought Bjorn Gregg, who's a main mountain. Yeah, that was and a good contest. Him. Yeah, it was a good contest. That was here at the Amsterdam Marina, wasn't it? That's right. Went that extra round, if you remember. But yeah. Well, I tell you something. This is an absolute stormer of a show here, and it's showtime. Great combinations going in, double K. Yeah, I mean, like you said earlier, you've got to watch out for the low kick of guitar. But um, Barak sort of cutting the distance and we're coming close and working sort of dirty boxing as it's called and working those lovely low kicks. Strong hook from Gita then, a really powerful shot. Barak just Barak so, is, soaks up Barak, so much. Barak isn't in the shape that he should be though, is he? Let's be honest. No, this is it. We come, he's come up from super middleweight. I've seen him fight yeah, before many very, years yeah, ago. Yeah, but still, in fact, a guy like Daniel Gita who's in extremely good shape. It'll make a big difference, the power will sell, but Balrog is tough. His body kicks are hard already, aren't they? You can see that. Yeah, Gita's known for hard right kicks. And even if you're blocking them still, you're still going to feel those big legs. I think, I like think he's saying Balrog early goes already. It's like a two-stone difference. And, uh, yeah. You he's, certainly he's, tell. This difference in two stone is in, um, you know, size. This is, this is real muscle man, isn't it? It is. Gita, of course, does come in shape as well all the time. Yeah. Look at those low kicks for you. is tough, let me tell you. And there's the loose there. Barrack's corner is shouting out. Counting with low kicks all the time. It's hard to when a guy's so big. And he looks very concerned in the corner already, Ernesto Hoos, doesn't he? He does. Well, that leg's already hurting, yeah. Vinny. Yeah. Surely that you can't go another two rounds like that. That leg's gone. On the back, badsauna.com. What that means? means. Certainly not a place that me and you have been to before. No. <laughs> anyway, but to be honest, I think Gita, once he starts putting, the, putting a lot of pressure on Balrat, yeah, he's just being be very patient, isn't he? He's just yeah. He is very patient, yeah. He's going lovely with low kicks and all the time. That, I mean, they've got hurt for him. It's the body kick that he threw. That, them body kicks that he's throwing that are causing a big damage. That's where Barrett wants to be. <laughs> Barrett's you know, trying to be the bad boy still. I think that crowd's going to still remain to battle. How are you becoming it later? Oh. End of the first round. Interesting first round, double kill! It was, I mean. Barrett trying to come forward. Gitar asks him to keep wow. working to kick because it's the damage it's doing already in one round is uh, really, really affects the Barrett's movement. He's scoring very well with them kicks. He doesn't need to let Barrett get close, does he? He doesn't, no. Barrett's uh, switched to southpaw to try and avoid uh, any leg kicks on that front leg. But it's very hard to uh, to do such a thing it's against tough, isn't he, Barrett? Big he is, isn't he? Isn't he? But, you know, you have to be on these shows. You can't show any weakness. You know, Gita's kicks, you can hear them from where we're sat, ladies and gentlemen. It's acts like a cricket bat hitting him. Baseball bat, whatever. It's some sort of bat anyway. But it sounds really horrible, doesn't it, Kieran? You know, whatever Barrett does, he, he's scoring some effective points for sure. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be hurting Gita, does it? I'm surprised that Gita hasn't put more pressure on Barrett and let some bigger shots go. He could do that. He is the bigger man. Yeah, we've seen him do it before as well. Yeah, he's scoring very well with leg kicks there. Good right hand there by Barrett. Seems to bounce off the chin of Daniel Gita though. Persistence and combinations from Barrett is... Uh, surprised that Gita hasn't put more pressure on him. Yeah, I mean, after a good first round of scoring effectively with the low kick, um, we would have thought he would have 
tried to take that into the second yeah, round, but yeah, I'm surprised at that. It's not even, no, this is more like it. Well, that movement he's had very well on the way in. Hands are a bit low for me, Kerry. Yeah, he's going to get too confident just because he's uh, had a good first half of the round. Good knee. It's very hard though when you move up the weight divisions yeah. to pack any power. Which I think uh, tonight is showing. He is showing toughness and resilience. Good off a cup by Bowman. I'm surprised that Daniel Beatty you know, has not exploded when the shots have come out of his shell. I'm sure he could do, but maybe Balrax looks a lot stronger than he is. Maybe, maybe he's a lot stronger than he looks, to be honest. He might just be frustrated. And... Balrax really sort of bossed his way in, hasn't he? Just sort of, yeah. uh, not, sh not being intimidated at all, is he? Really facing someone like Guitar. You would imagine to be intimidated because of the size difference between the yeah, two, but he's not, no, he's not. Ruben is at angles, very awkward as well, isn't he? End of the second round. Finicky attempts. And that's what I mean. He's very elusive, isn't he? Throws the right hand, moves his head very, very well. Jumping knee. Yeah, he's got some effective moves up at the knee. Too glad he had him, of course, right in a moment, probably. Well, uh, please. Barrack, of course, he has been at these shows before. So is Guitar, though, saying that. Yeah, he's fought, on the, he's fought on the Amsterdam Arena, so. But it really is uh, you know, a smaller guy versus the bigger guy. The smaller guy seems to be winning. Well, bigger's not better, better's better, isn't it? You know, right. as the saying goes. The bigger they are, the actually they are going to hit you, that's true. <laughs> Good right hand. Nice it's boxing skills. Gita just coming in a little bit more. Yeah, he sort of uh, slips and slides when he throws some boxing combinations. Good movement by Gita here. But Max is cutting him down, isn't he? Barak's on fire, isn't he? Yeah, well, Gita's fallen asleep, or Barak's on fire. He just... just seems sharper, doesn't he, Barak? Like, a little bit quicker, obviously, because of the weight difference. God, I'd like to see Barak in real shape, though. When he was super middleweight, I bet he was awesome. He certainly was. Super middleweight, going up all the weight categories and uh, having a go at heavyweight at 35 yeah. years of age. Can't knock it, can you? You can't. Only because if he found out he'd beat us up. Great shots going from him, Kieran. Really sharp, isn't he? A real good knees as well. The game plan put together by Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Hughes. Yeah, you know, Ernesto Hughes, obviously a legend, another Dutch legend, but yep. always came to fight a game plan, didn't he? And obviously yeah, he's shown this to Balrack. He's, he's confusing him, isn't he, Balrack? He's confusing um, Daniel Gita. Here, uh, and Esther Hoos is showing it. He doesn't, doesn't seem to be too happy, does he? No, he doesn't. I, I would be personally because Barrett yeah. seems to be winning. And uh, yeah. coming to the last 30 seconds of this fight, intriguing heavyweight contest. It's always going to be hard for Barrett to knock or stop. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but he's, he's, man he's very that. elusive, isn't he? Yes. Stop kicking, though, hasn't he? His legs are sore from the low kicks of Gita. Still. Nice left knee. Well, it's the last 10 seconds, Penny. I mean, you've got a favour Balrack tonight. I mean, he's yeah. very impressed the last two rounds of his. Determination, skill. End of the third round. Well, that was an interesting heavyweight contest. Sublime skills there. Great movement by Balrack. Um, 
set the pace, but obviously the pace is just above what he likes, and uh, Barak obviously, you know, didn't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner in this match by unanimous decision, 5-2-0 from the blue corner, Ashley! You know, when oh. Dan Daniel Gita watches his fight again, he will kick himself, it could serve one of a better turn. But Barrett really is a giant yeah. killer though, isn't he? I mean, Mate, you've got to give him credit, haven't you?